Uh, we certainly have no plans of letting off the, the gas in the GPU area. So there's, you know, we've kind of been doubling up performance every year and a half uh, for, as I said, the past decade or, or even longer. And, you know, we're looking at our plans and continue, continue to see the, the capabilities going up at, at that rate. But I just want to be clear, it's, you know, it's great for us to do this, this high performance hardware, but it's also pretty important for us to have the right partners and software as well to actually give tools so all this, this great creative work can be done. And so we, we've worked with one particular uh, partner called uh, Studio GPU. Now they may not quite tackle as, a, as a aggressive uh, uh, projects as, as uh, Peter's talking about, but to really to, to have a very simple, easy, intuitive uh, tool. So we're going to step you through uh, the Studio uh, GPU demo here. The lighting could be changed, the, the shading could be changed, colors could be changed, and so on in a real-time environment. So when folks like Peter and our folks on his team want to see, hey, can I change this or can I change that, what will this look like? suddenly there's an environment where you can do it in real time so the answer isn't well we'll show you tomorrow or, or come back in a couple hours while the offline rendering process is done because we put these teraflop gpus in the in the hands of our our customers as well as in the, the tool to tool developers suddenly what was a, a long process can be uh, close to, to real time capabilities and so that's what we think is exciting and is Guys like Jules continue to, to raise the bars on us. So you heard him mention, hey, to do that real-time data, or to do that data set took eight of our, you know, top-of-the-line GPUs a year ago. But well, we want that to go down to, you know, a single GPU over the next couple of years. But certainly he's not going to sit still. So when we give him that single GPU, he's going to find a way to use eight of those. So it's kind of music to my ear that, that he continues to advance the state-of-the-art of technology. In, in these environments that will push our hardware harder and harder and we'll continue to build the microprocessors and the, the GPUs to really keep pace with what the jewels of the world can do.